Back with us now, New York Congresswoman Claudia Tenney and Joe Gamal, the other Fraternal Order, Order of Police. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us. Congresswoman, first to you, the suspects reportedly are members of gangs. That's a big crime problem hitting New York and states like Illinois and California. It's gangs. There are 117,000 gang members in Chicago. So why do things like go weak on crime and do things like no cash bail? Look, this is incredible that, first of all, we know we have MS-13. This was maybe potentially a Bloods gang uh, in, in Long Island. Uh, we don't know much about them, and we don't know if that's for sure. But Kathy Hochul's talking about guns. We're talking about cashless bail, reforms uh, to the uh, criminal justice system that prioritize criminals over the innocent victims. And we're talking about a continuous demoralizing and defunding police movement that's having terrible repercussions on our communities. No one is safe. And it's not just New York City and Long Island. It's upstate New York. I was just in the lovely hamlet of Jewel, uh, which is right off Oneida Lake in the rural area of Oswego County, just on the border of Oswego and Oneida County in the middle of, you know, countryside. And they're worried about crime because we have problems here as well. Yeah. This is a problem because of Albany's laws. So to what the congresswoman is saying, Joe, thanks for joining us, too. I mean, Kathy Hochul, just crit she appointed a bail reform advocate as one of her top legal aides. The GOP for New York is saying this is like putting an arsonist in charge of the fire department. Let's show the no-cash bail reform bill that passed and what criminals are now getting let go if they're accused of crimes. Joe, what's your reaction to what happened with Lee Zeldin? Well, this is absolutely terrible because the victims and those young daughters, they're traumatized for their life all because these adults in New York aren't doing their job. Maybe they should grow a spine. I'm looking at you, Governor Hochul, because you've done nothing to mitigate the disaster that is bail reform. I mean, just look how bad it is, Liz. Crime is continuing unabated. In New York City, it's up 15% this September over last September. And a recent yeah. uh, study from the NYPD just said, 43 people have been arrested 1,027 times in the last year. Now, I'm just a lonely policeman, but that works out to about 24 arrests in one year, all because we continue to have bail reform. So, you know, I swear, I implore voters in New York, election day is right around the corner. You need to vote for law and order candidates. Otherwise, this is going to continue to spiral out of control. Yep. Take your streets back from this lawless and insanity. To what Joe is saying, Congressman, you just pointed it out. It's, it's, it's nationwide. We have a big major development. News coming in on the mass stabbing attack on showgirls in Las Vegas. Eight were stabbed, uh, other tourists as well, two now dead. The suspect, Yanni Barrios, he's an illegal alien. He's charged with murder. But Congresswoman, last year he was let go after his charges on domestic violence were thrown out because L.A. prosecutors did not move fast enough. He could have been in prison or possibly deported. He was already prosecuted for driving dangerously and without a license even prior to that. Well, that's exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing this de-incarceration movement, which is exactly the guy that's the key legal aid to Kathy Hochul. So she's bringing that type of advice, an advisory person, to her own uh, the state of New York, where we've seen this crime continue. This has all been a tremendous ballooning problem in New York since this cashless bail, since the Democrats took over one-party rule in Albany. Remember, we weren't having these problems uh, to the level that we're having. It's been an explosion because of the policies of cashless bail, prioritizing criminals, defunding the police. These are all gimmick lines, and this is what's been happening. It's it's really a real problem for not again. I can't emphasize it's not just New York. It's not. Just, it's upstate New York, and it's across the country. To the, what the congresswoman just said, you know, Joe, let's get both of your reaction to Jen Psaki saying, yeah, crime is a top priority. You're going to watch Democrats. You're going to watch this, this again. Democrats are now talking about how they said yes to defund police, and they're not talking about women. Women are crime victims of these policies and more. Watch this. Mandela Barnes, when he talked about the insurrection, I think that was a little disconnected from what people in Wisconsin are feeling. I mean, Milwaukee, crime is up in Milwaukee. Crime is a huge vulnerability for Democrats. I would say one of the biggest. It is outdated. It is wrong-headed thinking to think that the only way you're going to get communities to be safe is to put more police officers on the street. We need to defund the police. Yes, I support the defund movement. Defunding a $6 billion NYPD budget. Not only do we need to defund, but we need to dismantle. Every time someone's being let out on the street again and again, they're doing a disservice, and they're pretty much saying that 
These victims' traumas were in vain. This man intentionally tried to kill us. The shot went through my door to the pillar to the kitchen. I was cooking food for my kids. When I was attacked, he was already on three grants of felony probation. He had attacked three women, um, two of them with a golf club and a hammer. The lawlessness that is going on in Philadelphia is beyond out of control. They're out here on these streets committing murders after murders because no one is held accountable in court. The kid had a felony record already and was out on probation when he hit me. It sends messages to criminals that, you know, it's okay to, to do bad things because we're not going to punish you, we're going to punish the victims instead. I feel lost in the system. It's very scary. It's very scary. Joe, this is heartbreaking stuff. It's emotional. It's awful. Joe, what are you hearing about uh, officials talking about crimes involving women? Women are getting victimized. Well, yes, yeah, specifically minority women. We are seeing uh, black females being victims of crimes way higher than in years past. A recent study from the FBI just said that last year was the highest murder rate that we've had in 30 years. Crime is completely out of control in this country, and I find it funny that Jen Psaki is now saying crime is an issue because when she was the press secretary, she literally laughed at these high crime rates. And yet we still have Democrats like Cori Bush pushing the defund the police movement. Imagine the audacity and the arrogance while her home state ha is the leading per capita of black people killed in their streets and she's still wanting to defund the police. They're a joke. To what Joe just said,